So everyone, welcome to the Power of Play with CJ24 Augustine on the uh, Boston University. Terry is landing one of the top uncommitted 2016 uh, college hockey prospects, uh, Chad Chris from Connecticut. Uh, I was down at BU in BC for services, and the Moncton Wildcats of the Q uh, will still be in the running um, throughout the process. It's not, you know, rule them. I'll get to that in a second, but. You know, last year played on the U.S. development team, one of the best skaters this upcoming draft class. You know, put up good offensive numbers all around and, you know, really showed why he was such a uh, highly touted prospect coming out of uh, Connecticut. And then actually played for the Jersey Rockets uh, midget program he last year played with Ann Arbor. Uh, but again, I like this kid's game. I think he's going to do a phenomenal job on Com Ave next year and our, yeah, next year, 2016. Not, not next season, next calendar year. You know what I meant. Um, and again, you know, I think landing this kid goes to show how good of a recruiter, um, you know, Dave Quinn is. Uh, it's just a matter of translating that into wins. But, you know, you look at his first year, it was an absolute abomination of a team. Um, weathered the storm last year, you know, landed some, some kid from Chelmsford that I guess was pretty good. And, uh, you know, they went to the national championship game. So, you know, he's doing a great job of bringing these kids in. Uh, even like Brandon Hickey, hell of a fucking player. I love that kid's game. I, lo I thought he should have got drafted higher. You know, that was a good get by the coaching staff, and, you know, adding guys like this is huge. I think Chris will be uh, a top 12, top 15 pick in 2016, maybe higher. Um, and, you know, going to a place like BU that has a phenomenal track record of boosting NHL talent does, uh, is a good choice. You know, not that going to BC would be a bad choice. They've, they've done it in the last few years at uh, producing NHL players, particularly NHL defensemen. So, um, you know, again... Pretty cool, pretty cool get, and that will be in Boston. I get to watch him play on a consistent basis, which is exciting for me. Um, going a step further, he was drafted in the seventh round by Moncton in the Q draft. Uh, actually, I thought he was drafted higher in the Q for whatever reason. I think if the college thing wasn't there, he definitely would have been, you know, top two pick, top two round pick. Um, but you know, they're going to be a threat to land. You know, they've got a huge New England connection up there. Um, you know, namely, good friend of the show, Cam Askew, among among other players. So. You know, definitely there in the running, um, but I think he ends up at BU. You know, and again, I'm looking forward to watching him play college hockey and, uh, you know, being able to see, you know, how good he's going to be, um, you know, down the line. You know, again, I like his game now. I think he's going to grow, get bigger, faster, stronger, and be one hell of a pro player down the line. Anyway, that's all I got this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes toward the offseason and beyond. Later, guys.